to the Musical Teachers and in today's video we are going to be talking all about one of my favorite rhythm movement activities that I use with my students that I actually created myself and I'm very proud of called Captain's Coming. And I figured it needed a whole video for itself because every time I try to explain this game people don't fully understand and so I'm going to take you through it start to finish. And I recommend you stay until the end because there is a freebie for you with all this. If you don't know who I am, my name's Rainy Barton and I teach elementary music and middle school musical theater in Central Florida. This is my eighth year teaching and I created this channel to help other music teachers instill a love and appreciation of music in the heart of all of their students. And we do this through lesson ideas, tips, strict tips, tricks, strategies, and more. So if you're interested in that, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and gets my ideas out to many more music educators. As I mentioned, we are going to be talking about a fun game that I came up with with my students using a game that is already popular and is used at very many like summer camps and like I don't know like after school daycare place type activities and so I just honestly I don't know how I came up with this idea but I'm so glad that I did because my students love it and we play it all the time. Like all the time. I'm not even kidding. And I do this with first grade all the way through fifth grade. I just change up what rhythms I use with them. I don't use it in kindergarten because I haven't introduced quarter and eighth note yet. Um, and so I use it with first through fifth. But you can use it for any of them because I have rhythms for all of them. And I will link to the product underneath here and I will also link to the freebie underneath here because there is a freebie at the end of all this for you in case you want to taste test this game before you commit to the whole bundle. And so I'm going to pop up different stuff on the screen. I will try to also put a little clip of my kids playing it if possible. But basically how this game works is it is called Captain's Coming. I've heard it as other games as like Ships and Sailors. I've heard it as a bunch of other games. How the game works is students will be standing on their dot or their designated space for the game. I already have dots that I use on the floor in my classroom and so that is what I use. But you could easily just put like pieces of tape or pieces of paper on the floor and they have a designated spot for the game. And so every time they hear the words Captain's Coming, they have to move back to their dot and it's not like a who gets their last is out. They just have to go back to their dot. If they forget and they don't move, they're out then. And they all go back to their dot and they have to salute for the captain. And they are not allowed to stop saluting until they see the words at ease. So if it says at ease, they can stop. But oftentimes you might trick them and move to like a rhythm or to saying something else. And if you didn't say at ease, then they are out. They cannot move till at ease is set. So then um, they will basically every time you see captains coming and they salute and you do at ease and you put them down, I will have a couple of rhythm patterns flash on the screen for my students. And I'll typically count them off and I'll say one, two, ready, read. And maybe it'll say like ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Then I go to the next one. One, two, ready, read. Ti, 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 ta. If it's your older students, maybe it's tigga, tigga, ti, ti, tigga, tigga, ta. Or ta, ka, dimi, ta, ta, ka, dimi, ta. Whatever notation method you use. And they'll read a couple of rhythms. Then after they've read a couple of rhythms, because that is how I incorporated like the rhythm aspect into it, because you can't just play this game if it doesn't have a musical component to it. And so I added practicing and assessing rhythms in a fun way. Then there will be some pirate actions that come on the screen. There are different ones. There are solo actions and there are some that require a group of anywhere between two to five people. And I will count back first from five going five, four, three, two, one. And then when I finish counting, if they are not in the right number of people for their group, they have too many or they have too little, that whole group gets eliminated. Now, it's, you do have to like make some, you know, clarification with that. Like if you saw, like for example, it was an activity that required four people and they had the four people and someone tagged onto them and they didn't know it or they said, no, we already have a group, then that one person gets eliminated. But like if they're all just fighting and they didn't have a clear definition of who was in the group and who wasn't, just eliminate them all and they have to deal with it. And they are walking the plank when they are eliminated. And then the last person or people, sometimes it's two standing, are the winners and they get to share the buried treasure with the captain. And so basically I'm going to talk through the different actions that could happen. And I review all of the actions with my students at the beginning. And the slides do it that way as well so that they can review everything before they actually get through it. So we start with captains coming. Let's get to your dot. Stand at attention and salute until you hear at ease. 
when they see at ease you can stop saluting but don't stop saluting until you hear this or you will be out of course then we have beached whale which is just for all of them they drop to the floor belly down legs and hands up like you are a whale and they think this is the funniest thing ever this is just a solo activity another solo activity we have is swab the deck so they pretend they have a mop in their hand and they are cleaning the ship Another one we have is load the cannon. They pretend they are loading a cannon to shoot towards other pirates and they have a lot of fun with this one. These are all solo activities. And then we get to the ones where they need partners. And so the first one is shark attack and they have to get into groups of two. One person pretends to be a shark and the other person pretends to be swimming away from them. And so they must be in two. If they have more than two, by the time I count to zero, they're out. Then we have man overboard which requires three people and in this one they have to get in a group of two, three. Well let's start with two and the two people grab hands like this and then one person stands in between them looking like this as if they are looking over the ship. So the two kids are making the ship and they are looking overboard and they're using binoculars to pretend to look. Now I do also get specific about this. If you just get in a group of three but you're not doing the action you're supposed to be doing then that doesn't count as well. So you have to make sure they're actually doing the actions that they're supposed to be doing. Then we have pointing north, which requires four people. That's really easy. They get in a group of four and they all point towards the sky. Simple as pie. And then the last one is walk the plank. They get in a group of five. They line up behind each other and they grab the person's shoulders in front of them. So they're basically just making a line and they're holding the shoulders of the person in front of them. Five people and that's walk the plank. So once we've gone through all of those slides, we will talk about how this is an elimination game. They have to be prepped beforehand. Like whatever the teacher says goes, they just have to deal with it. And then we'll play the game. And sometimes it'll be captains coming at ease. They read some rhythms. They do like a pattern, like a shark's coming, whatever. And then it says captain's coming again. Or sometimes it'll trick them. And they get really mad, especially when it's one like they've been tricked. And like it'll say, like for example, it'll say captain's coming. And then a rhythm will come on the screen and I'll say, read this rhythm, here you go. If they keep reading the rhythm and they keep their hand up here, they're not out. But if they take their hand down to read the rhythm, I didn't say at ease. So that's a tricky one for them. But I have a bunch of slides included with this. Like you'll probably get through one game, maybe two. The reason that I say that sometimes two people win is because it depends. Like for example, if you get to the end and there's only two people left, there's only one two person action and it's shark attack and obviously they're gonna be partners. So you could just do it where you say beach whale or swab the deck and whichever person does it the quickest wins. So that's another way that you could do it if you really want there to only be one ultimate winner. But this game is very simple, very straightforward. My students love this game. I kid you not, they ask for it at least once a week. All of my kids, all the way through first grade, all the way through fifth grade, they love this game. And I have designed different rhythm packs according to this, like quarter and eighth note, 16th note, like all the way up to like, I can't remember, like, Tita and like all those other ones. So like, if you're interested in any of those combinations, then I will link to the entire pack down below. And I also do have a freebie for you. Uh, this is on my TPT shop, but I will also put it in my free resource library in case you want to get other free resources because I have a bunch of free resources in that library. I will link to my email link down below. You can join it, get the free resource, and it will give you, I believe, the 16th note version of this game in case you are interested in trying it out with your students uh, before you commit to getting the whole bundle. And I promise your students will get addicted. So please make sure to check out that freebie down below. And then if you like it, you can also check out the rest of the product as well. I will leave links to all of it underneath this. But I hope you had fun with this. I'm very proud of this activity. It's probably one of my favorite products I have in my store, honestly, because my kids just love it so much. And with that, I will see you in next week's video where it is a weekly reading, or not weekly reading vlog, <laughs> that's my reading channel. It is a weekly vlog, like day in the life, like, or week in the life of what I'm doing, what I'm teaching in my classroom, and all of that fun stuff. So be prepared for that. And with that, I will see you guys in a video next Monday. Bye!